Kevin. Kevin is back over here. Should we go pay a visit to the Jarl again? After everything's finished. And I just happen to be right here already anyway. Oh. Look at swords and you're back. Oh, he's right here. But everyone else is gone. How are you doing? Girl, friend, what brings you here? Oh. The fight for the throne's grown fierce. Strife between siblings is never good. I know from experience, Yalmar's ambitious, but to a fault. We'd all be better off were his sister to win. Really think so? Or is that gratitude speaking? I am grateful as Hemdel's my witness. No one's ever done more for me than you and that lass. More important, she showed great cunning and courage. Qualities the Isles need now more than ever. Oh, interesting to know what you think. It's your opinion that matters, right? Because you're the Jarl of a uh, Skellige Island, and I'm just a nobody passing by. Although I'm sure later on it's gonna become, somehow, my responsibility to figure out who the, the new king is gonna be. Queen. Farewell. Um. Hmm, so you think pretty highly of Ceres then? Okay, I can't loot that. <laughs> is your home... Ah, it's all lit up again. Everything's all good. Oh! You... you're in the same room? Oh. Huh. You're just gonna chill out here, I guess? He's sleeping. He's tired. Okay, well, I guess that's that. People, just now, Udorik was like, Oh, Yamar. Oh, Ceres. But like, what about the other people? Because there's also a whole bunch of other people who are in the running, right? Uh, Blue Boy Lugos is one I remember, and then um, the previous Foreigner, king's son. Step. Whole bunch of people, but the main two people seem to be Croc's children. Master Witcher? Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. So Brit spoke true? A beast took Nils? And killed him. Bodies in the cave. I'll have to fetch it. Witcher, would ye mind telling Brit what happened to her betrothed? I was just gonna go do that. Fine. I'll talk to her. It's the least she deserves. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Take this. Hard work deserves payment. Farewell. Well then maybe you should have been the one to go tell her then, since you feel kind of bad about it. I thought that it would be better if I went because I'm the professional here, hired to figure it out. That's why I want to do it. Not because I particularly like work. What? Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. Can I? Show me what you got and we'll see. There's Gwent here too, I forgot about it. Just gonna sell some stuff. We really gotta get back on the main island to the stash soon. There is a lot of stuff here. Yeah. There's really way too much stuff. Okay. Alright. Do we want to buy this this time? Because uh, I don't think we'll find it elsewhere. Yeah. Sove? So long. Something updated because of the book. But I don't know what. Oh. What's the new trophy we got? This is additional herbs. And the new one we got was the echidna. Bonus gold! My favorite, why not? <laughs> okay. Heroes of Skellige, Sove. Legend states that Clan Brockvar, based on the Isle of Spigarog, was founded by Sove. This hero took as his wife the lovely yet extremely quarrelsome Ul Ulula. He tried countless ways to tame her, but no matter what lengths he went to, he could not get along with her. Finally, he sailed to Hindersfjall to meditate in Hindar, the hallowed grove. Hemdal and Freya took pity on him and gave him the formula for a potion that would grant him understanding. They also instructed him to take a new approach, do something he had never done before to resolve his conflicts with his wife. In order to gather the required ingredients, Sove had to kill a monster, climb the highest mountain in the Isles, and dive into the deepest undersea chasm. Then he prepared the potion, quaffed it, 
and, searching for another approach to the conflict, began meditating while hanging from the... Tree-o-min-so-be-one-leg? What? Do, is that even a word? While hanging from the tree... Tr tr mm, okay, whatever. In this manner, he achieved enlightenment and returned to Spigarog to live with Ulala in peace and harmony to the end of their days. A magic potion from the gods. Can I get one? Well, we gotta go back to... Brit. Which is good because it's in the same direction as, um... Eirik, who I've still not visited even once. Look, look. There's a blacksmith here. Oh, I should have sold my stuff to you. <laughs> Those little geese are so cute. Ever fight a dragon? Wait, where is Brit? She's still standing there, right? Yeah, she is. If we want to go there, we gotta go this way. If only Miss Fen could be a hero like that. Now here's a manly one. Not like me. Should we just cut across here or Yeah. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be. Your betrothed is dead. An echidna captured and killed him. Nels! This won't bring him back, I know. But I avenged him. Killed the beast. Thank you. Knew all along he was true to me. And so I'll vow to be true to him for the rest of my days. Take this gold. Tint much, but I want you to take it. I already got payment from your brother. Thank you, but I won't accept any coin from you. Why do you offend me so? Don't take it the wrong way. Oh. There are things even a witcher shouldn't take coin for. People in Skellige always react in ways that I don't expect them to react in. I offended her by not taking the gold. I insulted her. It seems like she wants to promise herself to Nils for the rest of her days, but I wonder if that's what he would want. Cause that seems... Cause she's pretty young, she could go find someone else. Uh, let's head off to Eirik. Not this way. Back over here. Will he still be here? We were supposed to find him so much earlier, but instead it's like, well, we're gonna just casually visit you right before we leave Speaker Rog. <laughs> There's nothing else here, right? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, this is nice. Not the Andregas. Is there a nest here? Why are there Andregas? Just a bunch of Andregas here for no reason? Okay, well, none of my business. <laughs> Where is Eirik? Is there a house I'm looking for? There should be. Oh, uh, there's even a boat! But does anybody live around here? No Eirik? I guess not. I don't see an Eirik. And we're here already. Hmm. Really? Oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I guess that's that then, because, uh, huh. Does him existing depend on me finding him earlier? What? Where is he? He's not here at all. And I even came here to find you on purpose, without a quest or anything. Gosh. Okay, well that's a little sad, but um... Okay, we'll move on then. There's nothing else we can do, unfortunately. Now I want to say we can just take the boat and fast travel to another island or whatever, but this question mark, it bothers me. 
Uh, I kind of want to go back and see if I can find a way to get to it. Why can't I get to it? It just seems so weird that that one's so difficult to um, find. But I'll I'll figure it out somehow. Oh, hey, what is this? I started climbing some random road, and there's a there's a house here. Oh wow, that was a shortcut back here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, how do I tackle this? We know there's a path outside the house there. But I can't seem to access that path from within the house. Is it possible for me to like climb onto the freaking house or something? I mean, it does seem kind of climbable. <laughs> Not really. Oh. Oh! Can I... Oh my god! Whoa, whoa! Look at what we're standing on! Nothing! Hey! How the heck were you supposed to get here normally? That? Well, that's the one room that's locked, right? Oh, like... Oh, could you... Oh, are you kidding me? That's how you do it? But how would you... Whenever we were in the house, though, there was no reason for us to freaking break that down to get to the other side. But this is how you're supposed to do it. Well, does that mean that I can finally get that question mark? Please? <gasps> yes! Yes, it's in sight! Oh, place of power! Great! That's actually a good one for us to find. Hmm, magic. A place of power. Okay, don't stand up in the middle, okay? I'm holding down E. Thank you. I think we have two ability points now, but I'm thinking once we get back to Art Skellig, I'm gonna do a... What do you call that? Reassignment of the points. So I'm gonna hold off on it for now. And that is really the last thing we got on Speaker Rock, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. What do we want to do next? Quest-wise? From a land far, far away. That's back in Novigrad. Mmm! This is our level now. The alchemist guy who wanted us to become his apprentice? Or rather, we wanted him to become our master. This is back on the main island. Gremist. Yeah, that's the alchemist guy. Um... I'm thinking... Oh, what about this? Hey! Hey, do you wanna... If I meditate now, do you think it'll become available? I mean, we could always fast travel back here, but... If we're already on Speaker Rog, I would love to just... Clear it all up, so we never have to come back. Oh, look at this. Parkour Witcher. Geralt, the parkourer. Parkourer? Hardcore person? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get back to a fast travel point first. The town right here is Vorlag. Did Sarah's leave already? I think she's back on the main island, right? When's the the king thing happening? I don't know. Split its massive skull with the isles of this fearsome foe. Grand those swords, yeah. but I prefer here it the is. trusty axe. So what I'm gonna try doing is I will. Meditate for like a really really long time An entire day I just kneel on the ground <laughs> Hoping that nobody disturbs me And nothing seems to have happened unfortunately How many days do you think it'll be? Hmm It's level 14. I'll try once more if we can't do it then I'll leave You can hear people doing things in the... Use a wanker really too. Good on yeah. you, Maybe there'll be a rainbow. Okay, that's fine then. Giant we'll just forget about it for now. Yeah, because once we... Once it becomes available, all we gotta do is fast travel back here anyway. Alright. Well. Well, well, well. What do we do next? What do we do next? I'm thinking we can go back to Hindersfjall. 
For the horse racing? This is the final one, right? Yeah, for the goddess's glory. Mm hmm. This one? This one doesn't have a level. We can do it whenever we want, theoretically. Tell the Jarl, he's in charge. Hello. Something I've always wondered. What'll you witchers do once there are no basilisks, leshens, or giants around? Eh? Uh, I would become out of a job, cursed. unfortunately. Where is the the race person? Hate our ways, Drifter. Zvana. To be perfectly honest, I did not think you'd win even one race yet. Here you've gone and won three. Well, you've earned the right to ride in the great race. But do you think you're ready for it? Yes. I was born ready. Let's start this. Careful. It's a great honor and a great danger. The time has come for the great race. Riding for glory of Freya will be Geralt of Rivia and last year's champion, Astrid the Vipress. Wasn't Astrid that guy's sister? Oh, hurry. Yeah, that guy from the Garden of Freya, who died, right? His sister was named Astrid. But maybe that's like a common name or something. Out of the way or I'll kill you. Whoa, hey, it's a race here, not a freaking murder competition. Calm down. Keep your distance, Drifter. There's even some monsters. I beg you. Mercy. <laughs> oh my god, the, the freaking paths are narrow. Oh! The turns are really That's it? That was such a short race. The hero's pursuit is done. Geralt of Rivia has outridden Astrid the Vipress. The White Wolf, our dark horse, has won. Lovely race. The goddess must be pleased, as should you be with your prize. Not bad, gotta admit. Don't know where I'll be a year from now, but I'll try to come back. Zeracanian saddle. Is it hard? Killing that vermin. Watch yourself, white hair. And everyone's gone. There was no celebration for me. Swords, even though I did such a us. such a big deed. Zeracanian saddle. Hey! Oh, this has got to be the best one, right? Yeah, I feel like we've had... I feel like we've had tighter races previously. That one wasn't really that bad. Our stamina never even ran out. Well, now what? That was pretty dang quick. And I don't think there's anything else on... Hindurisfjall? Not really. No, that guy... Uh, that woman really might have been that guy's sister, right? We even went to the garden. Hmm. Something here that we couldn't defeat. Okay. Quest wise? Quest wise. Oh. Report to Croc on Kray to collect your reward. Level 18. How did I not see this one? Because it's not sorted by level, that's why. Gosh dang it. Okay. We will get back to Croc and Crate then. I kind of feel like a babysitter. Hey, I'm gonna go to your son. Okay, Be now I'm gonna go to your daughter. To have strength to the last. Right here. And we're going back to the castle, right? Scavenger hunt. 25. We should do that soon. This is 20. We missed out on that set, didn't we? 20. Although I understand that they're not like direct upgrades, it's more about the combat style, so not a biggie. Dead tired, huh? Hello, everybody. Whoa. Morgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice little axe. Did the Pretty gate like. open just for me? Are you serious? Why not? Hello. I'd like it. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? 
Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Oh. So, you're trying to tell me that the, the gate was closed the whole time after the wake? I don't think so. <laughs> Krach, make an exception just for me. All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Wait, I forgot. Step careful What's there. the method by which they're picking the next king? A good it's a vote between the Jarls, right? I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Won't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! It's good that Yalmar is strong, but I don't think being the strongest is a requirement for being the king, right? It's more like being a good leader and so on and so forth. Hmm. Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Why, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Just like exactly. you! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. Why is there a wolf right next to Hjalmar? <laughs> Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. This is a terrible cross with you. Are we having another feast? Both. Okay. Come on, no try me. Respect, Witcher. The Isles. This is Skellige. Oh. Oh my God! There's a wolf. There's a lot of wolves here. Foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Multiple. May your axe never crumble. People fighting. Oh, there's something here. Use the courage to fight the axe. Ow. What is it? Gods, you scared? Save you from our wrath. Twist your head. Who are the the Vilcarls? Yalmar, can you? <laughs> oh, seal shit. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them. Did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vildkarls and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. You want my sword? Vildkarls. Who are they? Ah. Uh, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. And they don't wear clothes. Aren't they cold? You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf. Whoa, those piercings. Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. Mega Whoa! You can't hit me during the loading screen. That's cheating. Tear him apart. All right. 
So again, we gotta just be kind of careful wow, to not get. Make me wait. Whoa, sh dude! What the heck? I'm stuck. <laughs> the crowd. Mm, I'm not allowed to eat during the the fight, of course. So theoretically, I just gotta. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to you, man. Even though he's so much lower level than me. Holy god! It will be a miracle if I can do this. Don't talk to me, okay? I'm concentrating. It's pretty routine. I just gotta not slip up. That's enough of that. I got a little greedy. Tried to sneak in one more hit. Ooh! Oh my god. You that good. Hard. Do I get a prize from you? You're not even gonna say anything to him? No thanks? <laughs> oh, what a fight. Smacked his cob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Was that like a random sword or your favorite sword? Yalmar's steel sword. This guy's pretty impulsive. If that was like a really good sword, it's like you just randomly gave me your best sword because you wanted to win a bet. Unfortunately, not anything close to my current sword, so it's a good thing we won. Didn't have to give him my sword. It strikes me. Is there more? <laughs> Bugger off, white gob. Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? <laughs> Again? We're here to hit. Again? Is there a reason why we'd want to do that? Let's do this. Gladly. Mega Masha yay! Same thing again. Oh, but for some reason. Defeat the Vildkarl is one of the objectives again. Okay, I gotta pay attention here, man. What? Lost your nerve? Get out of the arena! Ow! Mega Masha! Whoa, shoot! The distances! Thank you, Undying. When I respect, I'm definitely getting die, Undying again. Die, <laughs> die. Tear him apart. This guy's pretty smart, though. Because we usually tend to draw ourselves away from him, so he does that long reach. But sometimes, yeah, he does that short one, and that really throws me off. But we're okay. Thank you to Undying. Ah, you that good. Hard. <laughs> but why did we do that twice? Oh. Okay. Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one. Come There's multiple. How many are there in total? Kill, name, destroy. Oh, <laughs> aren't you a little bit too violent? It's just a sparring match, man. For some reason, it seems like, uh... I'm hitting a wall behind me, but there's nothing. 
Oh. This guy's wearing a dress. It's almost like some Scottish thing. Dude! I can't dodge. What? Come What's going on? Getcha. Dude, got us. Come on, come closer. I can't dodge. Whenever I try dodging, I just stay in the same spot for whatever reason. Something seems to be wrong with the boundaries here. It's like there's a lot of invisible walls. Maybe we'll be okay as long as we keep him cornered. Coming to get ya. Yeah. So where are you guys situated anyway? On speaker or on Skellige? Maybe in that one last island we haven't been to yet? Or maybe you're not from Skellige at all? Coming to get ya. Okay. Whoa! You'd never have beat me if I weren't five tankards in. Okay, sure, whatever. Then bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night's still young. How many guys do you have? <laughs> Stop playing with them! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? This guy looks a lot like the first guy. I oh! Smell blood. Ow! Maybe this guy's a little better too. We gotta make sure they don't get too close. When they telegraph that really long punch, it's okay. But when they do the short one, Stop that's when it becomes a little bit harder to parry. As long as we stay away from them, they usually do the long one. Your mangy hide will feed the gulls! Damn it. Oh god. I can't do it, I'm stuck! Oh! That's gotta be the last one, right? You fight good for a continental. I beat you. That's good enough. <laughs> what was all that about? Well, we finished the objective, if that means anything. Like, more than once. <laughs> we killed, like, or we defeated four people. Hmm. Okay. Anyone you're, around you're here wanna you mingle? Something I've always wanted. Go and thing. face what what you witches do. I don't know who that is. Beast, Only one giant to the gods could accomplish such a thing. Where these gods are from? But I prefer me trusty hands. More silver there than the best way to work shade upon weak arms. Blue boy Lugos. Yeah. For like giants. But here the black ones shit from the Everybody wants to talk. Go and face them all. Yet one black one. Okay. I guess we're not really gonna get too much out of here because. Everyone's doing the talking thing again. Some people have names though. Some people are important. Yeah. Oh, we can still come here. Because Croc is here. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Are you just angry no one's voting for your son? Svanrig. Svanrige? Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Mine! Of Bran was the best King Skellige seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. You sound so biased. Like, I don't know who's gonna listen to you. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen, and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles. Favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. 
we must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the girls will see the wisdom of it. Okay, I see your perspective. That's actually pretty interesting. But deciding by genes and heredity is another form of debt, don't you think? What if a son in the future ends up being useless? But we had to have him because he's the son of the previous guy. Leaving care to older? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even kind of? come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Ah. Ah, okay. I'm guessing what's gonna happen is all the Jarls, they're gonna vote, and the votes are gonna be split. And the deciding factor is gonna be Croc's vote. And he's gonna ask me, Hey, man, you, you saw my son and daughter. Who do you think would be the better king or queen? Huh. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Bran's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Supports Farnrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Yeah, I guess you would rather have your children be the king or queen, as opposed to somebody else. That's kind of like a heredity bias too, isn't it? Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Feel like you think pretty highly of her. If the Jarls end up picking her, isn't that an even greater sign that she deserves it? Cause you guys are normally kind of biased against women. And she still came out on top despite that. So I feel like that counts for something. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Bauble? Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. <laughs> I'm the one... What's happening? They're not voting already, are they? Hear that? Damn it! Yalmas probably started another row. 
That's not Yalmar. Let's go. A sword named Fate. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> what the heck? Is that somebody's magical familiar or why is there a baron here? Multiple. Uh I don't know. When I see bears, I think of druids. Druids controlling bears. What now, you piece of filth? Why? Where do they come from? Oh god. One more. Everybody died. Ow! Ceres is here. Yalmar is here. What was all that yelling about Lugos, though? Is this related to Lugos? Ow. Ooh! Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I would not step for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Very strange choice of attacker? Bears? Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Don't you guys want to help? What? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You two can handle this fine without me. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, would that be letting things play out normally and just not interfering? Because I'm guessing in the end, this all ties back to figuring out who the suitable king or queen is. Situationally though, I think I'm more interested in finding who the killer is, as opposed to whatever Hjalmar is doing. Who's he even gonna kill? I don't know, like where is he going? I don't really want to mess with the picking of the king and the queen, but I do want to help Ceres. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, 
I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. That's so strange. That's really strange. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos. Oh my god. Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing. Just yet. Oh. Oh. But why would? Okay, you're implying that Zvonriga and his mom might be behind this, right? But why would he leave the Oncrate siblings alive? Not on purpose. They just happen to live. Hmm. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. This whole thing is so bizarre right now. Like, I immediately, I want to think that- Pull yourself together, Sinna. How'd they get in? <laughs> Don't know. The gates were shut. <laughs> I want to think there's some magical element to this because where, like, how would a bear even fit in here? Because those bears were huge. Look to we a moment. Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. What is the gods doing? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. It's huge! Where would you even come in from? Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid. Autrig. Autrig is. Whose son? Anhindar. Mm, uh, Jarl Donor. Oh, the really, the really old Jarl, his grandson. Who didn't really do much. Audric never got to live out those dreams, however. During the tragic feast that came to be known as the Bloody Banquet, he lost his life when a furious bear tore his flesh to small pieces. Like, the thing that I don't understand is if there's a magical element. Warriors in battle frenzy transformed into wild beasts. Berserkers. But how did they to be here? If there is a magical component, why would somebody pick a bear to bring in here? If I were a sorcerer and I could magically transport attackers to be placed inside the room, why would I not pick like a freaking elemental or something? All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. <gasps> what? Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. You're not saying this is a human, right? A transformed human? They did say this is a berserker. Something under the fur. Tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Does this have to do with the Vild Carls? Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. 
Maybe something he ate, or drank. Wait. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. There's three bears and three Vildkarls, right? So you're saying that this is transformed from... This is transformed from somebody that was already in the room. And it was weird because we've never met those guys before and now suddenly bears. All the horns are empty. Was this on purpose or did whoever turned into a bear just lose their mind? Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Don't rightly know? Don't rightly know? Oh, we don't get to look at the bodies anymore because we looked at the freaking... The freaking bear too early. Dang! I can't even tell who died. Okay, so we know that um the, the metal bucket guy died. <laughs> I call him that, but it's the guy with the, the metal helmet. Whose name was... It started with an H, I think? Yalborn? Yalborn's courage and bravery were not enough, however, to save him from the massacre of Ker Trolda. It's kind of like the Red Wedding. And then Blue Boy Lugos also died. Oh my god. Blue Boy Lugos was one of the victims of the massacre that took place during the feast at Ker Trolda. Later, people claimed he had knocked one of the beasts' head off by clobbering it with a barrel of beer. True or not, that is how the Skalds commemorate him in song to this day. Were there any other... candidates? I'm not sure. I know there were a whole bunch, but, um... You know. It's quicker to name the people who lived than the people who died. Dragadar. Skalds played his last. Dragadar? Dragadar? Dragadar. He's not even here. Yeah, I got no clue. Hmm. No Nordling will ever understand the Isles. This is Skellige! This bear is gonna have different markings on him, right? Different scars, different markings. Can I look at you? It won't give me a prompt. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Oh, what? Well, let me look at that guy now. Let it go. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Stangrim? Stangrim. Oh, what? I'm not even looking at the right foot. <laughs> Uh, I don't quite remember who that is. There were a lot of people at the feast. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. There's a small thing here, but we can't... What is it? A dagger? A knife for eating? I'm guessing we can't look at you. No. But the scent comes from... Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. 
A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I wonder if Geralt has ever faced a berserker before. Werewolves we seem to see often enough, but not a berserker. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. So somebody spiked the meat on purpose because they knew that somebody in the room would turn into bears if they were... if they reacted with the... the mushroom or whatever. Hmm... The mom and Svanrige seem to be primary suspects for now.